Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In this tutorial, I would like us to look at events and listeners. And I would like us to just have an example in which we are going to demonstrate how you can be able to implement events in a Laravel application. So the first thing I would like us to do is to install a fresh installation of Laravel. So we are going to have Composer, use the command Composer, create project Laravel. Laravel and then the name of our project in this case I'm going to just call it events as it installs I'm going to post the video a fresh installation of Laravel is fully installed in our machine I would like us to hop into that folder so we are going to just say cd change directory and then the name of the new directory we want to open so I think it's events as we had said it, yes. The next thing I would like us to do is, uh, let me just clear the terminal. The next thing I would like us to do, because we will be listening to the login event, our event, you'll be checking when the user is logged in, then I have to have some uh, authentication scaffolding. So in this case, I'm going to install a package, composer require Laravel UI. And this command will you install the package so let me pause again laravel ui is installed i would like us to go ahead and uh, create the scaffolding so in this case i'm going to use the command php artisan ui bootstrap and then i will also have the authentication uh, pages and scaffolding being done for us that is done I'm required to run npm install and and npm run dev everything is fine up until this po point let me open uh, this application in uh, VS Code. There are two ways in which we can be able to uh, re register an event, but uh, I would like to just show one of them and then we use the second one. So let me open our the terminal here. We can be able to register an event or even a listener by using the command php artisan make in this case event and then uh, the the name of the event so maybe in this case I want login event or something of that sort so once I press enter it will be able to create this event and I can also be able to create a listener now in this case I will say PHP artisan make listener but that is not what I want us to do I would like to just go to app and then providers and then I open event service provider and inside here this is where we actually register our events and listeners and so if we are able to register an event that does not exist then um, we can be able to just run one command that uh, Laravel will be able to create for us so as you can see we have one event here which is called registered and then the listener is sent email verification so in this case this event you can also be able to add more um, listeners to it because it's an event that uh, actually watches and uh, at, at, at the point when a user is uh, registered into the system for the first time then you can be able also to do some other things on top of that so I would like us to just uh, have another event here and um, uh, we are going to when you when you when you have the events they are usually stored in app events and then i would like to just have the name of the event in this case i will call it login and then so we can say login class like that and uh, we can just follow whatever it is that we have on this other event so i'm just going to just follow through so inside here is where i'm going to provide my listener and then we will close with a semicolon. So the listener, I want to call it 
in this case we, we will just be uh, storing the user last login so at any particular moment when you come and check the database you can be able to see when did this user login the last time so i will call that uh, listener uh, last user login uh, class and then obviously i have to show where it will be created so it will be created in app and then if uh, app listeners and then last user login class so um, that one is okay and in this case um, when we are checking for the login again if a user is logged in we can also decide to add another listener that will be attempting to or that will be creating an email that you'll be sending to the user or maybe an, a, another uh, listener that you'll be send, sending um, maybe an OTP or something of that sort. So uh, I had mistyped here and I have been able to correct. So I think everything is okay. Now, once we have that in our um, uh, event service provider, here I can just come and write the command php artisan event uh, generate like that. And then as you can see, it says, um, let me just move this one. As you can see, we are having what we are having event and listeners generated successfully. So when I open up, as you can see, we have a new folder called listeners and we have another folder called events. So when I open this one, you, you see we have login.php. Uh, In this case, it's login event. And then the listener, we, we also have last user login so let us go ahead and um, do something at the point where the user logs in and then we can be able to emit an event and then go ahead and listen to it so i would like to open http controllers um auth folder and then in this case i'm going to open login controller because this is where the user login is handled and inside here i would like to modify something as you can see um there is a uh, uh, something that has been created here protected redirect to provider home and when you look at this controller keenly there is nowhere where you can see this user being logged in and it's because that part of the code is being done elsewhere so we can be able to go ahead and override and then be able to just create our own code here so it will override this i'm going to just have um, a method which i'm going to call protected function function login and here we are going to have a request from the form so in this case request uh, request like that and then I will also import uh, the request helper in this case. So I'm going to just uh, up here, type in use illuminate HTTP request. And then on top of that, because I'm going to check for the authenticated user, I'm just going to say use auth like that so those two and then after that i'm going to do something about uh, this logged in user so we can either check the negative or we can check the positive of whatever it is that uh, we have here but the first thing we are going to check is uh, if this user is sending in the login form if there is there are any values that are being sent so credentials and in this case we are going to do some validation so request validate inside here we are going to have uh, an array of values we will require an email from the user and the email is uh, required required and i want it also to be a valid email like that and then after that we have a password 
and in this case for the password we just want it to be required you can also be able to set the minimum number of characters that you would want in a password after that then um, we have been able to check if the user has provided those two then the next thing I want us to do is to log in this user so we can just say if and sometimes you can check the negative in this case let me just check the positive so auth uh, attempt in this case the credentials are correct that is the username the username and the password they are correct then it means this user is logged in and i would like us to just do something the first thing i want us to do is to just to get the user so user is uh, the authenticated user and then the next thing i would like us to do is to fire the event before we redirect them to the dashboard so in this case i can say event and then new and then the name of our event in this case we are calling it just login and then we are passing in this authenticated user like that that one will be okay but eventually i will require to import the event so here we are going to have return redirect and then in this case to the home page so in this case home that is where we are going to redirect our user to so above here let me import my event so in this case i'm just going let me just put it here so use uh, app htt i mean app events and then our event is login event like that everything is okay here so i would like us to go to the login event and uh, be able to do one or two things so let us open the login event and uh, so yes so you close http and now you close the listeners also and even the providers for now and then now you go to events login and inside here as you can see there are so many things that have been populated because we are working with authenticated user i'm going to say use uh, app models user just import the model models uh, user I like that and then i'm going to have um, a variable here which we are going to just have it public and in this case our user and inside the constructor we are going to pass in the user model in this case with a, a variable and we are going to just uh, have it as follows we are going to say um, this user that we are talking about uh, this user we are going to reference the user like this is equivalent to our user that way and then after that i would like to just go direct and uh, be able to work on uh, the the listener if in the event that you want to do broadcasting then you will be able to have some things in this function here but for for now i think this one is enough we can be able to pass our user to um, and we are having a, a problem here in our constructor i do not know what is the issue let me just check it out yes there's a problem i did not uh, close this with a semicolon and i think that one is fine so let us um, now go ahead and uh, open the listener and be able to do a few things so um, we are going to open the listener in this case we have called it uh, the user login something so listeners we have called it last user login so here i would like to under handle 
we are just going to be able to access our user so in this case i can just say user maybe we can uh, first of all just to check that everything is working i can just say dd and we can put something here the listener is uh, active or something of that sort and then we will go ahead and see if we can be able to log in log in the user so i would like us to just uh, run our zamp and uh, apache such that we can be able to connect the database so you start the two of them and i will also ensure that in the terminal that my application is running so here i'm going to just say php uh, tson serve and then um, i would like to also open chrome and just check that our application is working fine so let just open it so you have localhost 8000 and as you can see the laravel ui that we installed we have the login and register routes then uh, the next thing that i would like us to do is maybe to create a database so in this case how you go to the env dot env file and i would like to just put my database as a uh, events and save the 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 username you leave it as root and the password an empty string that one you work for us now i would like us to do our migration so i'm just going to open a new terminal here and uh, i'm going to just say php but before we do that this because there's something that i really want to do in the users table i would like us to just first of all modify that table and add something so we will go to database migrations and then the first table of obviously is a users table i would like to create one more field so immediately after email i would write i would like to create a field and this field i'm going to call it um does have it as timestamp that is a uh, the data type and then we are going to call it last underscore login like that so that way and then um, so once we do our migrations then we will be able and i want it to be nullable so once we do our migrations i would like us to just log in this uh column the last time this specific user that we are working on logged in so then i'm going to say php artisan migrate and uh, it says the database events does not exist surely we have not created it but laravel is uh, very nice because it will be able to create for us this thing has made me very lazy nowadays i don't just i don't create the database i just want it to create for me and we're having a problem um hmm, let me see let me see let me see we're having a problem here i wish we can be able to see it together such that we we can so it says database error db name events and root what is the problem unknown database events so it has not created for us fine let us go ahead and create it so I'm going to go to localhost PHP my admin. Uh, let me pause as it loads. Yes, uh, now we are going to create a new database. Let me call it events. Like that. The database has been created. So then I'm just going to run again PHP artisan migrate. And now the migrations are there uh, i would like to go ahead now and do something in our last user login uh, listener and we just want if we attempt to log in then we should get that the listener is active and then we will continue like that so let me go back to this and uh, click login and uh, 
obviously we do not have a user in our table so the first thing I should do is to register so let me register a user and I can say James I mean the name maybe we can just pick anything John do and the email John do at uh, example dot com and then the password I have put a password and I want to register if everything is fine we will be able to get that if we are logged in and then now because we are only targeting the the login not the register um, controller in this case we we can be able to try again so again John Doe John Doe I think at example.com that was the email the password the password that I had inputted so let us attempt and login and la lovely now you can see it says the listener is active so from there we can be able to do anything or whatever perform one action in this case you're not supposed to have very many actions in one listener so you better create another listener and another listener such that your code can be readable and you can be able to follow the solid principles so i would like to go ahead and uh, save uh, or in other words update our table so in this case i can be able to access uh, the user id as follows so we are going to have event and remember there is always another way of doing things so if you find that uh, you find a shorter way of doing this I believe it is possible for one to do that so I will get the user ID and then I'm going ahead to find the user so in this case user uh, we are going to use the uh, eloquent to find our user so in this case I'm going to just say find uh, no, find or fail and then we are going to pass in our user ID the one that we have above there so user underscore ID and then after that we are going to have user uh, last login because that's the column that we have just created right now so user last login and then in this case you're just going to use carbon carbon now which we'll be able to log in the current time then i want us to go ahead and save this user and that is everything that we require to do i would like to just import two things the user model and carbon so above here I'm going to just say use app models user and then I'm also going to say use carbon carbon like that so let us attempt again to log in this user and see what happens so I refresh and here we are going to have John Doe, John Doe at example.com, and then the password. And then we will attempt to log in. Again, I have not uh, commented my uh, the thing that says the listener is active. So I'm going to comment this out. And then we are going to attempt to log in the user one more time. So I can refresh. But let me just do it one more time. I refresh here and then have John Doe at example.com and then the password like that. When we click here, we are logged in. And if we go and check, if we go and check our table, if we go and check our table, that is um, events table. And then we go to users we have one user in our database and we have the last login that uh, is uh, printed here so I believe everything is okay and we have been able to create an event and listen to it and be able to do some actions 
uh, there's just something that I think I've not uh, finished properly in our login, uh, cont in, in our authentication controllers, auth uh, controllers, and then uh, login controller. Here, after, um, after we have been able to do something with our user and we're redirecting to home, sometimes you will find that uh, this is not done. So in this case, we can just be able to redirect uh, a user to log in. So in this case, if the, their credentials are not correct, so redirect, return redirect, redirect. In this case, we can just say login. Just a minute. Yes, return redirect uh, a login. And maybe we can pass a message maybe and say with error. In this case, user not authenticated. Or maybe credentials do not mark, match our records. <laughs> that again um, if I attempt to log in one more time or let me log log this user out and log them one more time we see if it's still working or maybe if our code has broken so you log in again you check and we are looking for John John Doe and the password is uh, the password that I had put and you click login Again, you can see the user is logged in. And if we check again our event, you will find out that uh, the time has slightly changed to now the current uh, timestamp. Thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point. I ask that you may uh, subscribe and you may also comment, you may like, and you may support us in any other way in which you can. Thank you very much.